going on guys and welcome to the video. Now this isn't one of my normal types of videos that I usually do but I felt like I needed to do it because basically if you're like me and you've got some Wi-Fi dead zones in the house uh, it's very hard to stream. So basically what I did was I went and I bought this little number here. It's called the TP-Link 600. Okay, it wasn't very expensive at all, and apparently it's the answer to all my prayers. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to set it up, and hopefully all goes well, and uh, I've got internet upstairs in my dead zone. Ha! Gay! Alright, so let's get started. So, I'm going to open it up for you. I'm going to show you each individual component. If I can get it open. Tough one. Right. But it comes boxed up like this. Right, so yes. So inside, you will see two of these little TP links, as we call them. Now, it's very important that you have two because, uh, well, I'll show you in a second. So what you'll do, take both of these out. And then underneath, you've got two Ethernet cables. Also very important that you need them. And you've also got a quick installation guide here. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to ignore that one and I'm going to see if I can do it all by myself. Three days later. Alright guys, so I'm here in my kitchen. Lovely place. What we've got here are the two TP links that I showed you before. Now what you need to do is you need to pair them up before uh, you can put them around the house. So basically just so that they read each other and are able to connect uh, to each other and create a network. So what I'll do, I'll just plug them into these, like this, any two sockets, you'll see the lights flying on, you've got the green light, or come in there, just check it out, green light's there, okay, now what we want to do, is we want to hit the pair button there, and you'll notice it's blinking, when it's blinking, all that means it's looking for this little fella here, so all you've got to do, is hit the pair button there, and wait a second, for them to link to each other. Just do it! As you can see, flashing lights everywhere. Solid lights at the bottom means we're good to go. So yeah, there we go. They are now completely linked. So what I'll do, I'll take these little numbers out and then I'll, tr I'll plug them in downstairs, one upstairs, and hopefully my internet is fine. Right guys, so I'm back here. I'm in my living room. I've got my TP link, the first one. And I've got my Ethernet cable, which I got with the, with the uh, TP-Link box set. So, here we go. I'm going to give it a try. So, what you're going to want to do, don't need that, is you're going to want to plug the TP-Link. It has to, and this is very important, this has to go into the mains. It just, that's just the way it is. So, you put it in there, like this. I'm going to plug this back into it. What was in there before? Like so. Take the Ethernet cable that you got given. Uh, plug that into the bottom end and then obviously the receiving end goes into whatever modem you've got okay so plug it just in there like so right so now all you've got to do is go upstairs and plug the other TP link in a few moments later alright guys so I'm up here I'm in my bedroom I've got the other TP link here and I've got the ethernet cable that the uh, box gave me so what we're going to do we're going to plug this one into the mains here again like I said before it has to go into the mains and you're gonna see this light coming on and that's on which basically means it's paired remember the two lights from before that's solid meaning it's still paired to the one that's downstairs so we take the Ethernet cable we plug this end Ooh, if I can do it come on man this end into that and then the other end into your device ie your PlayStation 4 or your PC Okay guys, right, so as you can see, <laughs> there wasn't a LAN cable long enough with the actual thing itself, with the TP links, so um, I'm just going to have to buy another LAN cable that's longer, that I can plug into the TP links that can get into my PlayStation 4 or my PC, but it's not about that, it's about seeing whether or not this actually works, and as you can see, if you check out the TV screen, internet connection tested, it's working. This used to be a Wi-Fi dead zone, and I used to have absolutely, like, two megabytes, if that, if I was lucky, 
the Dunner Connection speed uh, test, it's got 55 megabytes, uh, that's the download and the upload is 5.1 megabytes. So, I reckon that was quite successful. And just so I prove to you guys that I'm not BSing you, I will go down to my view uh, connection status and you will notice on the connection method there it says a LAN cable. Definitely working and I'll go to test the internet connection while I'm, while I'm you know, talking to you guys and we'll see what it says. Probably a bit different. Oh, it's even gone up 58.1 megabytes per second um, and we've got 5.6 megabytes upload. So there we go guys, um, it does work, which basically means once I get a big enough LAN cable, which I'll, which I'll buy tomorrow, um, I'll be able to start doing live streams from upstairs as well as downstairs. So anyway, I hope it helps uh, if you're affected by dead zones in your house and your Wi-Fi is just absolutely shocking and you can't get a signal, um, then yeah, I would recommend this product. I'm not sponsored in any way, so don't be thinking that they're paying me to say this. Obviously, um, I've just found this product and it works. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to Us Brick Gamers. And uh, yeah, remember, never let it be. Mm.